Now, before we get into today's video, I want to let you all know that I had a video halfway done for this upcoming Sunday. It was a DIY wine rack holder, and the SD card with the footage got sent through the wash, and I lost it all. Happy days for me. I hate my life. But what is going on my peeps and welcome back to this week's brand new video. Now, I'm gonna be very honest here. Because I had a ton of stuff going on this week, I lost all that footage. We have Playlist Live coming up this weekend. I hope to see an absolute ton of you there. I did admittedly choose a kind of simple recipe this week. One that I've been dying to try and looks absolutely delicious because I always order it when I go to Panera. This broccoli cheddar soup. Now I'm aware that the ones from Panera come in like these frozen plastic bags and it looks really gross when they're making it and it's like processed soup and all that. I don't care, it tastes good, okay? But I am hopeful that this recipe will not only taste better but will be a slightly healthier alternative to the one from Panera. So let's get right into it. Now for those of you around the world or even in the US who have never tried this deliciousness, I would highly recommend it. Now it is jam packed with fat and calories, but what do you expect? It's America. If you want to try to make this recipe at home, grab yourself some chicken or veggie stock, some half and half, two heads of broccoli, some shredded up cheddar cheese, carrots, butter, ground nutmeg, one white onion, salt and pepper, and just about a quarter cup of some sifted flour. This is also a pretty cleaning friendly recipe for those of you who don't like doing dishes. It's pretty much made in one pot, but we do have to chop up some vegetables over on the cutting board first. And I started with my broccoli. I cut off the stem and tried to cut them into miniature florets. Now as you're chopping all of this up, just keep in mind that this is for a soup. It's not for like a veggie platter or something. So you want these pretty small. Also, if you leave these too big, they're not gonna be done cooking by by the time the rest of the soup is. Now that you're finished with your broccoli, you can move on to your onion. In the recipe, they say to use a half of an onion, but I got this smaller yellow one, so I think it'll be about the same measurements. And just dice that up as finely as you can. Of course, you can go back with your knife if you want it a little bit smaller. And lastly, I began preparing my carrots, just peeled the outsides of them quick, rinsed them off, and then ran them through my cheese grater. I started out with the tiny little holes, and I realized that was a little bit too small. So I moved on to the bigger ones and you only need a half cup, which turned out to be only one and a half carrots. And now we can begin the cooking process. In a large pot over medium to high heat, first throw in four tablespoons of butter and allow them to melt down a little bit. Add in your onions and saute them off until they become translucent for about three or four minutes. Now just add in four tablespoons of your sifted flour to complete your roux. And you have to allow this to brown or else your soup will end up a little bit gritty. So make sure to let this cook for a couple minutes. Next up, we can slowly begin to add in our half and half. You wanna pour in two cups and again, let that cook down until the mixture comes up to a simmer. At which point you could add in another two cups, this time of your veggie or chicken stock. Again, adding slowly and stirring as you add it. After this mixture has cooked down for about five to 10 minutes and is bubbling away, you can add in your broccoli, your carrots, some salt and some pepper, your ground nutmeg, Mix all of those ingredients thoroughly together. I quickly realized this was gonna be way too much broccoli, so I quickly spooned some of them out. And again, you have to let this simmer away for about 15 minutes. Now this step accounts for the majority of the cooking time of the broccoli. So at the end of this, you can take a piece and test it. If it's too crunchy, you'll have to give it a couple extra minutes. But once it is looking good, you can finish the entire soup off with, of course, the eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. Honestly, as delicious as this soup is, it should probably be like a dip or maybe a pasta sauce because it's so thick and heavy, but we're gonna give it a try anyways. Now, some of you out there might think that this looks gross, and I kind of agree. On camera, it looks greener than it actually is for some reason. <laughs> but trust me, if this tastes anything like the one from the restaurants, I will be very, very happy. Mmm, it's not fair guys, why is this so good? This is not a good thing for me guys. It's the perfect consistency, it's the perfect amount of broccoli. I could use a little bit more of a cheese flavor, you kinda get the broccoli flavor more than anything, but it's still freaking delicious and I'm sure it's a ton better for you than the ones that you buy in those stores, so I have to give this a 10. 
If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know by leaving a like right down in the description. Leave me a comment if there's some recipes that you want me to try that I have not tried yet. I hope to see a ton of you at Playlist this weekend. Don't be shy. Come up and say hello. I want to talk to you. I want to meet you guys. And other than that, have an awesome rest of your week. I'm going to go shovel this.